वेलकम बैक एवरीवन टू अनदर एडिशन ऑफ डब्ल्यू डी वी मंडे नाइन फॉर प्रीव्यू एंड प्रोडक्शन राइट हेयर ऑन दी वेस्टलिंग गाइज यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई एम ब्रिंगिंग यू दी डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू वी मंडे नाइन फॉर प्रीव्यू एंड प्रोडक्शन फॉर दी सिक्स ऑफ अप्रिल टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन नाउ uh has happened so far that means what you need to know what to look out for and the main things uh, um, i mean what they should do so first of all i would like to tell you that last year april 6 wrestlemania 30 the undertaker's 21 and 0 streak ended so it's been an year since we've lost the undertaker's streak but however the undertaker won this year so first of all i would discuss what all you need to know so Multiple folks may have been unimpressed with Byron Saxton's solo announce work, but WWE stuck to the script in running him out there on Thursday night with Tom Phillips and Jerry Lawler to continue to sell Brock Lesnar's rampage and subsequent suspension. New WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins was likewise on point, explaining that his refusing Paul Heyman's contractually invoked rematch on Monday was due to jet lag. Randy Orton came out to say that Brock isn't the only one with a legitimate claim to a title shot. Rollins says he's the only one who says who gets to fight for his belt. But when the Viper runs down on Seth's entourage, he is able to get Kane to book him a match against the Big Show. That ends about how you'd expect with Jay and Jay Security trotting an RKO. leading to the usual authority beat down by Randy Orton but Randy's new best friend Ryback charged in for the save somehow and the new odd couple cleaned house and stood tall Kane did agree that Orton versus Rollins sounded like a good match to make for WWE Extreme Rules 2015 but that's not official yet and may have influenced by the toxic fumes that resulted from Dean Ambrose using the authority's bathroom Whatever the lunatic fringe dropped in that latrine brought him about with his WrestleMania ladder match Nemesis Luke Harper. Their bout ended in a no contest when the former Wyatt family member continued a really bad week for announced tables by power bombed Ambrose through one and then just walking away. In booking that might mean WWE knew something about a certain retirement announcement before we did creative continued booking Naomi for the number one contendership spot for the WWE US Tag Team Championship previously occupied by AJ Lee who announced her retirement around 2 days back and her frenemy Page with another pinfall victory over Natalia. Natty's husband Tyson Kidd and his tag team partner Cesaro weren't booked for smackdown maybe because the tag title scene needs the new day and the prime time players to figure out which of them is babyface enough to go after the tag champs now i would really love if they put up the ascension versus tyson kidd and cesaro wwe extreme rules 2015 elimination match for the WWE Tag Team Championships if you if you agree with me leave down a comment down below and like the video taking a break from shopping for Suplex City real estate Roman Reigns worked on a sit down interview game in telling Byron Saxton that he intends to remain a part of the WWE title scene not involved in that scene is former Mania headliner The Miz who got a win over our truth but also got hit with his own finisher by his former stunt double or personal assistant Damian Mizdow moreover Damian Sandow Other names who won't be chasing Rollins's gold anytime soon include the baby of Star Power currently involved in the United States and the Intercontinental title programs. United States champion John Cena is making if you want some come get some more than just a slogan and Rusev has accepted the challenge for an extreme rules rematch. We'll see if he can that Russian flag installed above the ring in time for the next pay-per-view. That means John Cena versus Rusev for the WWE United States Championship. Now, John Cena, if you guys don't know, broke Rusev's undefeated streak at WrestleMania. He defeated Rusev, and according to me, there's no chance of Rusev winning back the <laughs> WWE Inter uh, WWE United States Championship. And there is a speculation that the Intercontinental Championship and the United States Championship will be unified. So we might see. Uh, Daniel Bryan versus John Cena only if Daniel Bryan and John Cena retain their titles as Extreme Rules uh, in a match uh, on the next pay-per-view which is uh, the next pay-per-view after Extreme Rules.
एंड इंटर कॉन्टिनेंटल चैम्पियन डेनल ब्राइन स्कड्यूल टैग टीम मैच में हैव टर्न इन टू अ वन ऑन वन अफेयर बट इज ओल्ड राइवल शेम इज गेव हिम ऑल ही कुड हैंडल आई मीन शेम इज बीट द हेल आर ऑफ डेनल ब्राइन लास्ट वीक ऑन मंडे नाइट रॉ शेम इज केम बैक लुकिंग अगली एज हेल ही केम बैक वी थॉट ही वॉज फेस ही केम बैक ही सेव डेनल ब्राइन देन ही ब्रोक किक डेनल ब्राइन ही बीट द क्रैप आर ऑफ डेनल ब्राइन एंड वी सी अ हील शेम इज हु लुक स्टूपिड एज फक The beard may not have been but many others were entertained by the Celtic Warriors new heelish ways and he now joins Barrett and Dolph Ziggler in a crowd of talented workers circling the once again coveted white and gold strap now what to look out for what we should get out of Monday Night Raw is now what I'm going to discuss so the stars of WWE head to WWE Monday Night Raw which comes our way from Austin Texas's Frank Irwin Center tonight which is the 6th of April 2015 even though a match with Orton isn't logged in yet the future will undoubtedly have his boys looking out for the apex predator but he shouldn't forget the big dog as reigns needs something to do until he gets another chance that he can get and will be brock no this is not happening so um what i needed to tell you that brock lesnar was suspended indefinitely last week on monday night raw after attacking after f5ing michael cole and twice f5ing a cameraman now the wwe is playing real mind games here because they wanted to make a uh, to uh, make brock lesnar go for a leave for a vacation and brock lesnar comes back at summer slam for the wwe world heavyweight championship now what they're doing is what their cunning minds are doing they made Brock Lesnar F5 a cameraman who was previously in a wrestling company that means it was no normal cameraman who got F5 by Brock Lesnar but it was a r- proper build up wrestler who got an F5 by Brock Lesnar and i guess there is no harm to the cameraman right now because he was a wrestler however there ha- there would have been minimal damages but not as much as we expected it to be because the WWE wanted to show us that the cameraman was someone normal Roman Reigns isn't in the WWE World Heavyweight Championship picture for a long time now according to me at least till SummerSlam we might see Randy or not Randy Orton Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar at WWE SummerSlam um later this year but Roman Reigns I guess is not getting any WWE World Heavyweight Championship match till at least SummerSlam next a pair of NXT stars moved up on top on monday nights last week while a lot of eyes will undoubtedly be on big e kofi kingston and xavier woods to see how fans react to their online responses to california's jeers maybe callisto and sin car will step up as a tag title contenders now according to the twitter statuses that uh, kofi kingston xavier woods and big e put up it's a heel turn coming for these three guys it's a heel turn coming for the new day and surely there's something in place for Neville beyond squashing my dreams for a extreme rules that is Axel Mania was Curtis Axel's Axel WrestleMania extreme rules is Curtis Axel's extreme rules next is who will answer the United States Championship open challenge now John Cena is issuing an open challenge every week for the WWE United States Championship and The next thing that we're going to discuss is who's going to answer it who's going to get um his ass popped up against John Cena who's going to work his ass up against John Cena who will fight John Cena for the WWE tag uh WWE United States Championship It might be Dean Ambrose and we might get a triple threat match Dean Ambrose versus Rusev versus John Cena but according to me until uh, Extreme Rules or even at Extreme Rules John Cena isn't losing the title There are a lot of questions for the WWE to answer before they get on planes and fly to Europe for a week and a half but and they need a plan to handle the sudden absence in the middle of their women's division now give Divas a chance according to me something's coming big in these few weeks for the Divas now what they should do For starters, take a page out of the old CM Punk playbook from last February and ignore any AJ Lee chance even positive ones Since there's no AJ Lee, there will be no CM Punk chance. There's this is pretty obvious. They should keep 
raw interesting throughout they should make the storylines interesting and they should set up at least two more matches tonight on monday night raw for wwe extreme rules maybe they should make seth rollins and randy orton for the wwe world heavyweight championship a match for extreme rules maybe they should make randy orton beat the crap out of Ran uh, seth rollins and seth rollins defeating randy orton at extreme rules and putting up exciting wrestling matches with a female talent now i want the wwe to push up nxt superstars and divas give divas a chance give nxt guys and girls a chance i should say divas so the WWE should not bore us up like they did, like they fucked up the ending of the last Raw before WrestleMania 31. But they should bring us at least a good Raw, a good 3-hour entertaining show. The best way to move on from the AJ era and tell obnoxious fans who still want bra and panties match that they're part of the past is present WWE females as kick-ass athletes and compelling dramatized competition. Now, next is what I'm afraid they're gonna do, how they're gonna fuck up Raw. Have Stephanie McMahon come out and cut a promo full of veiled shots at AJ Lee retiring, followed by two minutes Summer Ray vs. Cameron match and a backstage segment where Nikki Bella makes fun of Jimmy Uso's sexual prowess. Now, don't ask me what it is. So, they're gonna, according to me, they won't give Divas um, a push, at least on tonight's Raw, but they should do it. However, it's their choice. The WWE creative should have something good in mind to write. However, it's WWE Raw, and we have two weeks for Extreme Rules. However, this is the, this was the WWE Monday Night Raw preview, a long video. I hope you liked it. If you did, if you did, please leave me a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, and I'm almost reaching 4,000 Ultra HD subscribers. So thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for all your support. This is the Wrestling Guy signing off for now, and I'll talk to you in the next one.